and welcome back. My name's Simon, and in this video, we're on Dartmoor. Maggie and I have come for a walk on the southern moors. Uh, we've picked a slightly breezy, bit overcast day, but um, visibility is fairly good. Uh, yeah, really looking forward to it. I haven't been to Dartmoor in ages. So we've parked in Princetown and uh, we've walked down uh, south of Princetown to uh, a tour called South Hessery Tour. Um, sort of like first stop and I've managed to find a little place around the back of the tour out of the wind to film because um, you get so much wind noise is the problem, you know, it's the, the moors are open and um, there's not a lot of shelter from the wind. So just behind me is a, a big lump of iron sticking out of the top of South Hessery Tor. And um, when I used to come here years ago as a child, uh, the rumour was, or the, the myth was, that that's actually um, the sword Excalibur sitting at the top of the rock and uh, of course that that uh, that was the challenge then you know is sort of seven eight year olds nine year olds uh, we all tried with all of our might to pull that thing out of the top of uh, out of the top of the tour but of course it isn't it's just a great big bit of iron that was hammered into the rock decades ago you know it is, it is a legend it's been there so long but um, it kept us busy for a while anyway So we're just crossing over the Devonport Leet here, which is a man-made channel built in the 1700s. And it was built to take fresh water down to the naval dockyards and the town at Plymouth. So we've climbed up to the top of Down Tor 
and uh, the weather is really closing in. There's quite a lot of low cloud, so visibility is going a bit, which is a shame. We we're going to go up to Sheep Tour, but to be honest, you can't even see it. <laughs> so um, we're going to give it five, have a little rest. Uh, got a little sheltered bit around the back of the tour here, which is uh, at least sheltering us from the wind. And then uh, we'll make our minds up about what we're going to do. Whether we go up to Sheep's Tor or whether we head over sort of towards Nun's Cross. We'll see. So the final decision was down to Maggie. She. Um, she decided she can't possibly go home without having gone to the top of Sheep's Tour. So um, that's where we're going. So here we are at the top of Sheep's Tour with a very wet Maggie. We're going to have some lunch up here. Um, I brought my honey stove with me. I gathered some firewood off the beach yesterday um, while we were out with the, while I was out with the family, um, and uh, I carried it up here. I don't, don't need a lot, obviously. If you if you know of the honey stove or any of those small sort of stick stoves, they don't need a lot of fuel. Um, so the, the stuff I bought will be plenty enough to boil up a uh, a little pot of water. So what I've got for lunch is a slow cooked beef casserole. I'm going to fold in half, I'm going to put in my cup. I have enough water in there for a, a hot drink as well. Let's stick it straight on. Smells nice. Oh, it's good. It's got a really thick gravy. Plenty of beef in there. Carrots, potatoes. And a nice, thick, herby gravy. That's good. I really like these Alumi pouches. I have nothing to do with this brand incidentally. I've just come across them and they're reasonably priced. You can get them in most supermarkets or a lot of the supermarkets and um, and they're really good. They're actually from their kind of like gluten-free range. I'm not gluten intolerant, but I like the fact that they come in pouches and they're cheaper than the look what we found ones. Mm. That's really nice. Just what's needed on a 
miserable wet day as well. Okay, off towards Nuns Cross. Well, thankfully, the rain has stopped. That weather has cleared out. We've got our visibility back, which is nice. You can actually see what's around me. Yeah, it's not so much fun when, when you can't see anything. Doesn't stop me, of course. <laughs> but, yeah, always nicer when you can appreciate a view, having put in the effort to get to the top of something. So we're at Nuns Cross, it's a bit of a slog to get here to be honest, uh, when there's no visibility you can't see landmarks around you so it's, it's kind of a job to know without pacing sort of how far you've gone and uh, it always seems like you've gone a bit further than you have. Maggie's starting to really flag as well, I've really noticed it in her pace. You know, she's, a, she's a big dog, she's six years old um, and uh, she's not used to really long walks. You know, I try to take her take her for long walks now and again, but you know, it does it does take its toll on her. Poor old girl. So uh, I think she'll be glad when we get to the end. But we're not too far now. We've probably got about three miles uh, or so, and then we're and then we're back in the car. So we're nearly back at the car. Thank you for joining us, Maggie and I, on our uh, jolly across Dartmoor. We've had a really nice day. Maggie's exhausted. My legs are feeling it, but it's been good. Cheers, I'll see you on the next one. Mm.